Hello. So this uh, box of stuff uh, once was a Husqvarna 350 chainsaw. Um, was fully operational and then some mislabeled uh, two-stroke gasoline had caused it to fail. As you can see the pistons in bad shape and the inside of the cylinder is really scored. There was no compression. It did go to a shop. They pulled it apart and uh, didn't want anything to do with it. So we have a box of parts now and we get to put it back together. Uh, I have a replacement top end that came off of Amazon. It's about $50 after taxes. Came with the cylinder, new piston, rings, it's like a uh, fuel filter, compression release, all the gaskets, and spark plug. So, appears to be a pretty decent match already. I'm impressed. So, we will uh, start taking things apart and see if we can't get this thing up and running again. Okay, so we have a clean workspace now. I'll put all the new stuff here. There's the top end. There's the piston with the retainer clips. Oh, look at that. Nice sticker. Gaskets, fuel line, rings, compression relief valve there. All right, here's the old stuff. Gonna need this. Uh, let's not worry about the bar. Let's not worry about the chain. Muffler, gonna need that. Air cleaner. I should probably look at getting a new one of those. Cap. Oh, there's the curb. Should probably just clean that while we're at it. Here's the side cover, which we'll put to the side. Top. Put to the side. And then a whole bunch of stuff. There's a piece of the ring. Won't need that. A couple pieces of hardware. This is for the bar. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what we got in here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get the old piston off. And so here's the other part of the ring. Get rid of that, but let's make it easy on ourselves and let's take the handle off. A lot of junk in that one. You see a date code on this. Let's see how old it is. 2008. Not too bad. I bet the farm that this is all metric, but since I happen to have a set of SAE. This is a 530 seconds, which I'm sure has a conversion to something metric very similar to this. Okay. 
Okay. That is off, and I'm going to put these with the handle so that they don't get lost. Going to be a retaining pin, a retaining clip in here. So we'll grab with the needle nose. Get that out. There's one. We'll have to probably tap that out. Okay, so I've got a bunch. Because we got a new one, I'm just going to get this one out. That's yeah, in there tight. We are out. As you can see, that has seen better days. I'm going to compare this one to the new one. The new one actually has a double ring on it, which is a huge plus in my opinion. Beautiful. One thing I will do is throw a little bit of oil in there while that's open. Just as a E30, nothing crazy. All right, well, I've discovered that it did not come with a new bearing, so we're just going to reuse this one. I'm going to oil it up. Just motor oil, that's all I'm using. Got to make sure we keep the area clean. Probably should have cleaned this off first before doing all this, but... Next, we want to put our rings on. I always like putting oil on this to make it extra safe. We'll make sure we orient the bevel side the proper way. Bottom ring, bevel side up. Bottom ring is on. Top ring, bevel up. You have to be real careful, obviously, you don't crack these. And there we go. The arrow always points towards the exhaust.
and we will put these snap rings in again. There's the new package. Needle nose pliers. It's actually easier to put these in before you put the piston on, but I neglected to do that. Okay, so we've got the one side on. Let's do the left side. That dropped in real nice. Let's put a little oil in there. We'll get the gasket cleaned up. And we'll get ready to drop this on here momentarily. We'll put the spark plug in afterwards, I imagine. But we'll switch out the pressure, uh, the compression release button up the exhaust try to make it easy on us all right so I have the gasket on uh, next I'm going to drop on the top end first I'm going to put the um, Compression release and also the spring. Let's do that. millimeter actually you know what we have a brand new one for this it up and let this spin a little more freely. Okay, so the top end is bolted on. Spins very nicely. Next step is we'll throw the spark plug in, the carb, and then we'll try to figure out where everything else went. Got the plug in. Now it's time to put the exhaust in. We've got a new exhaust gasket. piece looks like it's going to fit out of that so we'll weasel that in 
and then we can clamp that down it looks like and then the carb will mate right under there so here's what I've learned before you put this on put it on the top end first um, I just loosened up the bolts and then was able to lift it up enough so that I could pop it on, clip it, and then drop it back in. And it looks like this uh, flange goes behind the plastic so it won't come forward. And then that will hook into the carb. And we'll get these uh, tubes and stuff reconnected here. But tighten back down, it's in good shape. All right, so this will be oriented like that and drop into place. The fuel line will hook back up into the carb there. That will fit in this. Not quite sure where this goes yet, but we'll figure that out next. Probably right where that little nub is, a return for the primer bulb. So I'm gonna push this down inside of there, bolt it in, and be right back. So now we got the kill switch on. That was kind of a challenge. Um, the metal piece goes over top of that and then down underneath and then the one contact falls in there and when you push on it, it touches it and probably breaks the, the ground so hopefully that will work and we'll be able to get it started next we're going to button the car back up then we'll give it a pull see if it runs Okay, we now have the switches hooked up. We have the throttle lever hooked up. That pops into here, and then it drops into this. That spring is a retainer spring. Holds it in, threw some fluid film on it. Um, this must go somewhere. We'll come back to that. But obviously that's the air cleaner. I'm excited to give it a shot, see if we can get it started. All right, I made the mistake of not putting this rubber piece on, so I threaded that on. Now it's in. Air cleaner goes on. Give it a twist. And we're in good shape. I can't think of anything else we got to do. There's a couple of missing screws here. We'll figure out where those go next. But let's put some gas in it and give it a shot. Here's the first start. Fuel bulb has fuel. I think this might be the hang up, but we will see. So down is off, up is on, choke. A lot of compression. Ooh. I was right that isn't working I'll have to adjust that but I pulled the choke and it turned off if that was a win that's fired right up well we got it running just got to finish putting it back together now and get it back on some wood so thanks for watching a lot of uh, trial and error but I had a good time I'll do it again that's for sure I'll report back on its longevity here in a little while and see how the $50 Amazon engine worked.
guys have a good one. Bye.